Hello, Nubia. Hello, Susie. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good Hi. evening. How are you? I'm fine. Very good. Are you ready for your class? Yes, teacher. Ready. All right. Excellent. You, what can you tell me about your previous class? What information do you remember from your previous class? What can you tell me? Present perfect and simple past. Very good. Can you tell me what is the difference between the simple present and the simple past? In the, in the present perfect, uh, we use have, uh, have you? Mm -hmm. And the uh, answer I have. Very good. Have you ever eaten a rabbit, for example? Yeah. And uh, in the simple past, uh, uh, for example, um, have you have you ever see have you ever have? Mm -hmm. In the in the answer in negative, uh, we use the the verb in in. Eh, no, en, en, el, en el presente usamos el, el verbo en, en el estado pasado participio. Correct. For example, have you ever traveled to another country? Yes, or, or uh, eaten. Yes, eaten, I have. Yeah. Or no, I haven't. In the negative, right? Yes. Or have you ever eaten rabbit? What is the answer? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Or no, I, I haven't. I haven't. Or for example, have you ever seen a uh, UFO, what is the answer? Yes, I have, or? No, I haven't. Very good, no, I haven't. Okay, another question? Another question? No teacher. All right. Have you ever met a famous person? What is the answer? What is your answer? What is your answer? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Another question? Another question? Not teacher. No. Have you ever driven a sports car? What is the answer? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Or? No, no I haven't. No, I haven't. All right. Um, have you ever sang? Oh no, como es past participle sería sung. Have you ever sung at a karaoke bar? What is your answer? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have, or? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. All right. So I would like for you guys to practice asking and responding these questions so that you can review this topic.
Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Okay. I'm going to share it with you here in the on the questions. So you have five, you have six, and I want you to add four more examples. Add four more examples to this list. Do you understand? Yes. Do you have any questions? No. Are you no. ready? Are you ready? Yes. Okay. We're going to work in pairs for this activity. Uh, we're going to practice one more time the pronunciation. Repeat after me. Have you ever traveled to another country? Have you ever traveled? Have you ever traveled? To another country? To another country. Yes, I have. Yes, I yes, have. I yes, I have. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. The next question is, have you ever eaten rabbit? Have you, have you ever eaten rabbit? rabbit? Yes, I have. Yes, yes I, I have. have. Oh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. I haven't. Have you ever met a famous person? Have you, have you, ever, have you ever met a famous person? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Or no, I haven't. Or no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. <clears throat> the next one. Have you ever driven a sports car? Have you ever you driven a sports car? Have you ever driven a sports car? Have you ever have driven you a sports, sports car? Yes, I have. Yes, yes I have. Yes, I have. Or no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. So what I want you to do is I would like for you to practice these questions and I would like for you to add uh, at least four more questions so you have a total of 10 questions using have you ever. Do you understand? Teacher, una yes. pregunta. Hi, Susie. ¿En cuál, sec en cuál sección está? Yes, very good question. Um, we were looking at the present perfect. Let me check. Uh, this was Exception Summon. No, 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 no. Ella está preguntando en qué parte está esta, este tema. Uh, have you ever, aquí, section five. And this is section five, present perfect. Aquí está, present perfect. Y también aquí, present per perfect. Aquí otra vez. Y aquí, present perfect versus simple past. Básicamente toda la sección 5 eh, se trata sobre eh, present perfect. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay. Uh, another question? No. All right. Ready? We're going to work in pairs. Van a practicar estas seis que ya les di y vamos a agregar seis más. Ready? Okay. Let's practice. Oh, hold on. Creo que alguien está entrando. Emma. Emma. Hi, Emma. Hi. Good night. Good evening. Bienvenida. Eh, vamos a escribir eh, seis, cuatro oraciones utilizando el 
presente perfecto. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Eh, Emma, la vamos a poner con Nubia y Susie. Ellas estuvieron desde el inicio. Tal vez le pueden dar eh, more information. Hi, good evening. Nubia, how are you? Nubia, usted estaba con Emma y Susie. Seis. Sí. Ok. Vamos a practicar primero las seis que él ya puso y luego vamos a hacer seis. Ok. okay. Eh, Copió usted las que él ya puso. Yo le tomé una captura de pantalla. Ah, no la puede compartir o, o mandar al WhatsApp, porque yo no la tengo. Ok, veré si la puedo compartir ahorita. Ok. Perdón. Okay. Vale, quiero que soy, quiero ver los, los los pero no me sale. Un presente perfecto. Eh, sería Have you ever color your alguna vez has llamado a tu a tu a tus amigos podríamos poner Ya terminó usted sus oraciones. Ay, tío, una fue. ¿Y usted sí? Eh, sí, si quiere puede poner. Ajá. Have you ever eaten pizza? How you ever eaten pizza? Otra, have you ever watched a Netflix series? How you ever watched a Netflix series? Watched. Watched. Mm -hmm. Watched. A Netflix series. Have you ever uh, cooking pasta? Oh, 
Uh -huh. ¿Y cuántas dijo que hicieran? Cinco. ¿Verdad? Perdón, ¿cómo digo? Ir. ¿El verbo ir. Sí. Sí, bueno. Sí, Sería went. Sí. 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 Entonces, este, sería have you ever went? Uh -huh. ¿Alguna vez se traduciría? ¿Alguna vez es, se traduce, verdad? ¿Cómo se traduce? Sí, alguna vez. ¿Alguna vez? ¿Alguna vez? Ajá, ¿alguna vez ha sido? Uh, mm -hmm. Have you ever went to, por ejemplo, algún país? Mm. To Canada? Mm -hmm. Entonces la respuesta sería yes, I have. No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't. Yo tengo una. ¿Sí? Have you ever drive? 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 ¿Alguna vez has conducido? Have you ever? Eh, el pasado simple de, de, de driver. Driver. Drive. Ajá. Es driver. Sí, drive. Para conducir. Ajá. Es drive. Cabal. Sí, sería en pasado simple. Sería drop. Drop. Uh -huh. Sí. ¿Alguna vez has conducido? Sí. ¿Ponemos algún complemento? Sí. Podemos poner. Un autobús. Wow. Sí. ¿Verdad? Sí, sí. Entonces sería Have you ever Rob Perdón Sí Have you ever Please The bus Sí a bus. Okay. Sería, yes, I have. No, I no, have. I have. Mm. The yes. Have you ever dropped a bus? Uh -huh. Have you so, ever dropped? Ok, busquemos otra. Yes. Have you ever hablemos de comida? Have you ever eaten? Eaten, ¿verdad? De comer? Sí. 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 Have you ever eaten? No sé, alguna comida extraña. <laughs> Okay, vamos a ver. Have you ever, ever eaten? O pues pongámosle si estamos hablando con alguien de otro país. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. La respuesta siempre hay. I, I haven't y no hay haven't. Sí. Lo que pasa es que lo hemos dejado en una respuesta simple, porque si, si fuera de, de seguir la, la de respuesta, la larga, ¿eh? ajá, ya tendríamos que usar el, el otro verbo, o sea, el verbo ya en participio, en pasado participio, uh -huh. en, pero en la, en, la en la positiva sería, ajá, sí, en la negativa sí, se usa, uh -huh. en la negativa se usa siempre el verbo así en pasado simple. I 
haven't. Bueno, cuatro. Have you ever Hello. Drink. Podríamos utilizar uh -huh. el de tomar, no sé cómo se dice en pasado. Drink, drunk o drink. ¿Cuál es de los dos? Este. De drink. Tomar. Sí. Drink. Quiero, no me recuerdo. Sería drink, creo. D-R-U-N-K, drink. Drunk, sí, drunk. Yeah. No, no, drunk es pasado, no, uh -huh. normal, ajá, drunk no. y drunk es drunk. El, ajá, drunk es ya el participio. Pero ese es el que tenemos que usar, ¿verdad? Sí, el drunk, drunk tenemos que utilizar. Simple paso. Uh -huh. Have you ever drunk? ¿Has tomado? ¿Qué? Uh -huh. uh. Tequila. Tequila. Así se escribe. Sí, así se escribe. Sí, sí, así tal cual. Ajá. Yes, yes, vamos a decir ahí. <ríe> eh, igual, ¿verdad? Las respuestas siempre son igual. Sí. Sí, la respuesta se mantiene. Vaya, ahorita quiero ver cuánto llevamos. Cuatro. Cuatro, ¿verdad? Nos faltan dos. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. Mm. ¿Has hecho? ¿Por qué no usamos al, alguna vez has hecho? Hacer, make. Make. Uh -huh. Have you made? Make. Yeah, make, verdad? Make. Make, más que con. No, con. Sí, pero es simple. Sí, sí. Make. Have you make? les habían puesto. Ni idea. Seguimos repasando la de nosotros. Bueno. How do you ever driving drunk? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Have you ever called your friends? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. How do you... Okay. I would like for us to practice in pairs. Let me have Dina Contreras, who's your partner? Hello? Hello? Hi, Dina, are you there? Oh. <clears throat> Who is your partner? Who, who is your partner? Uh, is Ailey. Ailey, okay. Ailey and Dina, let me hear your examples, please. Okay. <clears throat> How do you ever eat pizza? Have you ever eat pizza or 
Have you ever eaten pizza? E eaten pizza. That's right. It's the past participle. Mm -hmm. Have you ever eaten pizza? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Oh, you only have one example? Uh, other. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, I think it was you had to write four more examples. Okay. How you ever cooking spaghetti? Mm, cooking, present continuous, or cooked? Cooked. In present continuous, um, now, uh, have you ever cooked spaghetti? Very good. Al alguna no. vez has cocinado spaghetti? Have you ever cooked spaghetti? Cooked. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, no, yes, I haven't. No, I have. Yes, I haven't. No, I have. No, I have. I have. Mm. Yo creo que sería, yes, I have, o no, I haven't. Yes, I have, no, I haven't. Ajá, ajá. Ok. How you ever work, work in the night? Yes, I have, no, I haven't. How you... <clears throat> How do you play soccer? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Oh. Only? All right. Awesome. Now, Ailey, ask the questions. Dina, respond. Ailey, ask the question. Dina, respond. Me escucha, teacher? Yes. Ah. How are you ever driving drone? Driven yeah. or driven? Driven, creo que se dice. Uh -huh. Driven, <laughs> driven. <clears throat> yes, I have. No, I haven't. Okay, eran cuatro preguntas. Ailey? Hello? Ben? Hello, Ailey, ¿escucha? Sí, ustedes no me escuchan. Sí. Ahora sí. Uh, how do you ever call in your friend? Yes, I have him. No, I haven't. How do you ever play in soccer? Have yes, you I have. Ever played? Played. 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 Played soccer. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. How do you ever broken a window? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Okay. All right. Everybody, please applause for Dina and Eileen. Thank you, Dina. Thank you, Eileen. Excellent work. Uh, go ahead, uh, Dina, select somebody. Ailey, select somebody. Emma, Susie. Emma and Susie. Hi. Hello, Emma and Susie. How are you? Okay, Emma and Susie. Susie, ask the question. Emma, respond to the question. Okay. Have you ever made 
attachment? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Uh, have you ever driven a bus? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Have you ever eaten pupusas? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Um, have you ever drink tequila? Yes, I have. Uh, drink no, I... is simple present. What is the drunk. past participle of drink? Drunk. 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 Drink, drink drunk. is the simple present. Drank is the simple past. Mm -hmm. And drunk is the past participle. Oh, mm -hmm. um, Drink, drank, drunk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Entonces sería drunk. Yes. Okay. ¿La vuelvo a hacer? Uh, oh. Yes, please. Okay. Have you ever drink tequila? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Okay. Solo eran cuatro, ¿verdad? That is correct. Okay. Okay. Now, vice versa. Um, Emma, ask the question. Susie, respond to the question. Mm -hmm. Have you ever eaten pupusa? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Have you ever made tattoo? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Have you ever drunk tequila? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Have you ever driven a bus? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Okay, excellent. Applause for Susie and Emma. Okay. Okay, now Susie selects somebody, Emma selects somebody. Carla Esquina. Carla Esquina, ask the question. Okay. Diana Lisset. Diana Lisset, respond. Okay. Diana, have you ever go at the, at the cinema? Yes, I have. Do you say go? Or do you say gone, past participle? Okay, ¿Cuál, es, ¿Cuál es el past participle de go? Um, gone. 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 So en este caso no va a ser simple present. Sería past participle. Have you ever gone? Have you ever gone at the cinema? At the cinema or to the cinema. To the cinema. Have you ever gone to the cinema? Okay. Uh, have you ever gone to the cinema? Yes, I have. Have you ever played basketball? No, I haven't. Have you ever watched a terror movie alone? Yes, I have. Have you ever uh, do exercise or work out in the morning? Yes, I have. Okay. Do that teacher. Have you ever eaten pizza? Eating yes. pizza is correct. Eating pizza. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. 
Um, do we say yes or do we say yes? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Es una Y yes. más, fácil, más, más suave. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you ever watched a Netflix series? Yes, I have. Have you ever read that book? No, I haven't. Have you ever cooked pasta? No, I haven't. Have you ever worked in the night? Yes, I have. Do you say in the night or at night? At night. At night, correct. Okay, applause for the participants. Thank you, Diana, and thank you, Carla Esquina. Now, for the next activity, we are going to be moving forward, and I would like for us to look at section letter C. Section letter C, and this is in the final exam. For this activity, I would like for us to analyze, read the following sentences, and choose the correct word. Instrucciones. Lea las siguientes oraciones y escoja la respuesta correcta. Number one. My brother is in his 20s and goes to college in Arizona. I would like for you to take a couple of minutes and complete this activity in pairs, and then we are going to work it together. Do you have any questions? No, teacher. All right, let's do it. Okay, Carla. Sí, ya. Ay. Solo practicamos, ¿verdad? Porque me imagino que ya la tienen resuelta también. Sí. Sí. Vale. Practicamos. Bueno. Uh -huh. Son seis, vamos un, dos cada uno, quizás. Vaya. Está ¿Quién bien. entonces? Uh -huh. ¿Empiezo yo? Sí. Vaya. Vale. My brother is in his 20 and goes to college in Arizona. Tracy has short, straight, black hair and blue eyes. Carla. Hola. Disculpe, ¿qué, qué sección es? El, la sección C. La sección C del, del examen. Del examen. Uh -huh. a, uh -huh. a ver, ahorita, ahorita. Si gusta que participe otro y en lo que encuentro ¿Sí? la sección. Sí, yo Bye. sigo con Bye. el número 3. Vaya. Phil's nephew is 5 feet 8 and has dark brown beard and mustache. Mustache. Has Marty. Has Martin ever missed an appointment? Sería five. Adrián, sí, sí. A ver. How many times have you lost your cell phone? Y la número seis. Dos, sería. Sí, dos. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Have you ever drive driven? Is correct? To say driven. 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 Uh, have you ever driven a truck? Okay. Ahora si quieren comienzo yo. Vaya. Vaya. My, my brother is in his tw 20s and goes to college in Arizona. Tracy has short, straight black hair and blue eyes. Phil's nephew is 
five feet eight and has dark brown beard and mustache. Has Martin ever missed an appointment? Carla. How many times have you lost your cell phone? And have you ever driven a truck? Ahora, si quieren, primero no. Adriana y, y después ah. Carla para que Bye. cambie. Bye. 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 My brother is in his 20s and goes to college in inner Great, he has short, straight black hair and blue eyes. Okay. Phil's nephew is five feet eight and has a brown beard and most stage. And has Martin ever missed Miss um, an appointment. How many times have you lost your cell phone? Have you ever driven a truck? Okay. Um, okay, okay. Uh -huh. uh, my brother is in his 20s and goes to college in Arizona. Uh, two, Tracy has short, straight black hair and blue eyes. Ahora yo. Phil's nephew is five feet eight and has dark brown beard and mustache. Has, Mar has Marty ever missed an appointment? How many times have you lost your cell phone? Have you ever driven a truck? Seguimos, ¿verdad? Sí. My brother, my brother is in his 20s and goes to college in Arizona. Tracy has short, straight black hair and blue eyes. Va. Phil's nephew is five feet eight and has dark brown bear and mustache. Has Martin ever and has Martin ever missing an appointment? How many times have you lost your cell phone? And have you ever driven a truck? My brother is in his twenties. All right, uh, Susie, can you read the first one for me, please? Read number one, please. Susie. Okay. My brother is in his 20 and goes to college in Arizona. Perfect. Adriana, number two, please. Tracy has short, straight black hair and blue eyes. Excellent. Eileen, number three, please. Phil's ne nephew, 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 uh -huh. nephew, nephew, grown bears and mustache. Excellent. Dina Contreras, number four, please. Has Martin ever misses an appointment? Appointment, perfect, okay. missed an appointment. Nubia, number five. How many times have you lost your cell phone? Perfect. Emma, number six. <laughs> How do you ever drive a truck? Perfect, driven, driven a truck. Driven. Driven, okay. Driven. okay. Now we're going to look at the next section, which is coming from section D, rewrite and unscrabbled sentences. Okay. 
instructions. Put the words in the correct order to make sentences or questions. Coloque las palabras en el orden correcto para hacer oraciones o preguntas. Is gorgeous, 30s, and Christy, her, really, in? What would be the question? Christy? Christy? Is, Christy is in her 30s and really gorgeous. Very good. Christy is in her 30s and is really gorgeous. En el is lo tengo yo, teacher. And really gorgeous. And really, could sing a list. Sing a list. Uh -huh. okay. All right. You are going to do two, three, and four in pairs. And then we're going to check it together as a class. Are you ready? Yes. All yes. Right. So we're going to have Diana and Carla, Aili and Nubia, Emma and Fabiola. Adriana, Susie, and Diana will be working together as a trio. ¿Empieza usted o yo? Como quiere, empieza si quiere. <coughs> Vaya. Christy is in her... ¿Qué terminó? Christy... No. Yo sé que me había comenzado hablando. Christy is in her... Theories and really gorgeous. Okay. Does some um, have a have a mustache and wear glasses? Cindy has long red hair and is medium height. How is the person sitting on the couch next to Chapson? And them. Ahora empiezo yo. Sí. Ay, pero no me la, pero es que no me la. Tengo que verla, abrir todo. Christy is in her. Dele en la en opción no le sale de mostrar respuesta. No. ¿Qué dice show answer? No. Mm, ¿Por, dónde, ¿Por dónde está el botón de donde se envían? ¿De submit? Submit. No. Ajá, ¿Sabes qué me parece? Ah, ok. And show answer. Ah, oh, sorry. Oh, algo nuevo aprendí. <coughs> Chrissy uh, is really gorgeous. This, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, in, at in her city or. Es que son, son dos formas. Están de dos formas. Ah, 
our Christie is in her thirty and really gorgeous. Does some wear glasses and have a mustache, or does some have a mustache and wear glasses? Ah, la dos está leyendo. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. <clears throat> Cindy has long red hair and is medium height. Aunque esa palabra está mala. On Cindy or Cindy is medium height and has long red hair. ¿Cuál es la mala? Esa palabra. The hate. Hate, ajá. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Bye. La otra sería Who's the person sitting or the coach next to Jason? Or Who's the person sitting next to Jason on the coach? Okay. Ahora empiezo usted porque ya me he empezado yo. Bye. Chris is really gorgeous and in her dearest. Chris is in her dearest. Is this or dirties? Does some wear glasses and have to mustache? Does some have a mustache and wear glasses? Cindy has long red hair and is medium hay, or Cindy is medium hay and has long red hair. Who is who's person? Who's the person sitting? Of the couch next to Japson. Who's the person sitting next to Japson on the couch? Ahora empiezo yo. Christy is really gorgeous and um, in the hair 30, 30. Christy is in her 30 and really gorgeous. gorgeous. That son, that son wear glasses and have a mustache. That son have a mustache and wear glasses. Cindy has, her, Cindy has long red hair as is medium hair. Cindy is medium hair and has long red hair. Who's the person sitting on the couch next to Jason? Who's the person sitting next to Jason on the couch? Okay. Seguimos. Mm -hmm. Sí. Sí, de todos Chris. modos que practique. Tal vez así sí. pronuncie mejor. <laughs> <laughs> Christy is really gorgeous and in her dearies. Christy is in her dearies and really gorgeous. Those who wear glasses and have a mustache. Does Sam have a mustache and wear glasses? Cindy has long red hair and is medium hay. Cindy is medium hay and has long red hair. Who's the person sitting on the couch next to Jackson? How's the person sitting next to Jackson on the couch? Christy is really gorgeous and the hair's 30. Christy is the 30 of the really gorgeous. Does Sam wear glasses and have a mustache? Does Sam have a mustache and wear glasses? Cindy has long red hair and is medium hair. Cindy is medium hair, hair and has long red hair. Who's the person sitting on the couch next to Jason? Who's the person sitting next to Jason on the couch? Christy is really gorgeous and in her dearies. Christy is in her dearies and really gorgeous. Uh, Cindy has long red hair, is medium hair, Cindy is medium hair and, and has long red hair. Ni la segunda. <laughs> <laughs> Does have wear glasses and have a mustache? Does Sam have a mustache and wear glasses? 
Cindy has brown red hair <laughs> and is medium height. Cindy is medium height and has long red hair. Oh. <laughs> Who's the person sit sitting on the coach next to Jepson? How's the person sitting next to Jepson of the coach? No nos han llamado todavía. No, todavía no. Ok. Ahora nuevamente la primera. Sí. Christy is really gorgeous on the hair. Christy in the hair. Thirty. I'm really gorgeous. Ahora sí. All right, let me have one volunteer. Please read number one. Read number one, please. Me, teacher. All right, Adriana. Chrissy is in her dearies and really gorgeous. Excellent. Number two. Me, teacher. Okay. Oh, dab some, have a mustache and wear glasses. Perfect. Number three. <clears throat> Me teacher, Cindy is medium hair and has long red hair. Perfect medium height and the last one me teacher all right who is the person sitting on the couch next to the jason next to jason perfect okay. all right let's look at the last one reading instructions read sarah's email then check for things she can do in her neighborhood hi nina Guess what? I moved into my new apartment yesterday. I really like my new roommates. I also like the neighborhood. There are lots of different restaurants here. Last night, I ate at a Vietnamese restaurant just around the corner. The food was delicious. And I want to buy a new Brazilian restaurant near here. For breakfast is this morning? Mm-hmm. Came to this Brazilian restaurant near here for breakfast this morning. Come to this great coffee shop across from my apartment. Actually, it's an internet coffee, <clears throat> so I am mailing you now. Okay, so the first one. Uh, you're going to read the text and look at the information that she mentions. That's going to be your homework. And we see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night, guys. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Night, night.